Hi, this is Ashwadi from Unity Women's College, Manjeri. The current session is on Amnesty, a short story by Nadine Godima. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines amnesty as the act of an authority, such as government, by which pardon is granted to a large group of individuals. The short story of Nadine Godima, titled as Amnesty, explains the life and troubles of a woman in South Africa who lived in in the time of apartheid. The fiancé of an unnamed woman had undergone political imprisonment in the notorious Robben Islands. The story reveals the nature of resistance offered by the black people against the white supremacy while struggling to cope up with the everyday realities. The first South African writer to win Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1991 Nadine Godima occupied a unique realm in the literary sphere of the 20th century. Her no- novel titled The Conservationist was the joint winner of Booker Prize in 1974. Being an active worker in the anti-apartheid movement, her writings carry significant political undertones against racial prejudice prevailing in South Africa during her times. Rather than counting literature as offering pleasure, she utilized literary works to fight against the inhuman treatment suffered by the black people in their country. Now, what is apartheid? During the period from 1948 to 1990s, a system of social stratification prevailed in South Africa. As per this system, the white people, though a minority, enjoyed all the privileges and opportunities in the society were the black people considered as inferior occupied the lowest position after the Asians and colored people in the structure. As a result of the introduction of this system, the black people are forced to evacuate from their lands and they were denied of all the rights they enjoyed. The apartheid legislation came to an end in 1991 by the constant efforts of great leaders like Nelson Mandela and the political parties such as African National Congress. Her stories concern the devastating effects of apartheid on the lives of South Africans, the constant tensions between personal isolation and the commitment to social justice the numbness caused by the unwillingness to accept apartheid, the inability to change it, and the refusal of exile. Encyclopedia Britannica thus identified salient features of Nadine Godimer's short stories. Amnesty also carried a few of these characteristics. Now coming to the story. The story began with these words. When we heard he was released, I ran over the farm and through the fence to our people on the next farm to tell everybody. The sentence explains the setting of the story, a farm, and the context, the release of someone from imprisonment. The narration is carried out in the first person format. That is, it was not the author but the character is telling the story to the audience. There are two words used in the first line that exemplify the solidarity of the inhabitants of the place. They are we and our people. Among the characters in the short story, the narrator, whom we later identify as a young woman, the fiancé of the narrator, a young trade unionist, her parents, his parents, his comrades and their daughter. The name of a single character is given in the story. The name was Inkululeko, the name of their daughter. Now, the mode of narration. The writer adopted the technique of stream of consciousness. This mode of describing helped the reader to understand the thoughts of the character along with the events. Set in a flashback pattern, the story is designed to portray the life of the family of the central character. Before the imprisonment of 
the fiance after the imprisonment and after the release though the central character depicted her life and troubles in the story her chief concern was to articulate her understanding of the principles for which the man stood in the story the story was in fact the story of the political journey of this man he left the place 9 years earlier and started working in the construction company it seems that the initial days are the days of discipline and obedience to the rules for him he remembered that after 3 years he started wearing t-shirts and told her about the union and strike we could sense that rather than afraid of these developments she carried a secret sense of pride in his newly acquired status as the union leader who has exceptional skills for negotiation and command over english poverty prevented this lady to visit him when he was on trial she was convinced by this man about his cause he told her that they fight against intolerance and for the better treatment to be received in the country when she managed to visit him in the court to her surprise she could see him beautifully dressed in blue suit the appearance is meant to communicate to the judges that the culprit was not ordinary yes man it was a part of the black strategy to elevate their self esteem and to receive dignity in public the writer portrayed with clarity the way how the revolutionaries were significantly different from the rest of the black people for instance when the narrator enquired the man's father about the message to be sent to the prison the father wanted her to inform him that his people are praying for the god to make everything all right for him he replied and this reply is very important that is the trouble of our people on the farms they are told god, god will decide what is good for them so that they won't find the force to do anything to change their lives here the man emphasized the importance of human actions to change their conditions than waiting for god to fulfill their wishes rather than resorting to spiritual solutions what we need are rational thoughts this was the standpoint of the man in the story another significant instance was the one related with police permit when the narrator along with the parents of the man went to cape town to meet the prisoner they were unaware of the need to have a police permit later the man criticized the narrator about her ignorance on that he affirmed that the knowledge is essential for the survival of the black people the most poignant statement that the writer made about the pathetic condition of the black people is this when the ferry was about to take us we stood all pressed together and quiet like the cattle waiting to be let through the gate the man who returned from the prison was not the one the narrator was familiar with he turned strong and powerfully built in appearance and his thoughts were more serious than before detaching himself from the family he dedicated himself to the cause of the movement in the meet with his comrades he discussed about organizing the workers in the farm the ideas and terms that she understood from their discussions include minimum wage limitations of working hours the right to strike annual leave accident compensations pensions and sick and maternity leave she knew that big man and old men the leaders of the political movement have also been released from the robben island prison where her potential husband was kept during imprisonment 
The story in fact depicts the predicament of a woman who shares the ideals of the man but could not digest the man's sacrifice of his family for the moment. Amnesty ended in a figurative but an optimistic note of waiting. She wishes him to return to the home after winning the course. The Nobel Committee stated during the honoring ceremony that her magnificent epic writing which had been of very great benefit to the humanity. She proved through her writing that literature is not simply of life, it's for life too. Thank you very much.